down in Houston, Texas at MSN Machine. And uh, checking out my boy Enrique. What's up, Enrique? I just was like, hey, I'm gonna be in town. Love to come see your shop. And uh, now we're here. How's the shirt, man? Yeah, How's the shirt? Nice. What's up? I don't know if I can say, I think I was one of the first ones to get one of these shirts. I know, we had just gotten them. It's really cool because you guys saw CNC Expert actually dropped and there's an inspector section. So we actually certify inspectors to actually be the second signature on the CNC portion of the certifications. And Enrique came and actually went through the workshop and got qualified. So if you go up to CNC Expert, you'll see Enrique up there. Boom. So Enrique, how old are you, man? 22. 22 years old? Yeah. How long you been in the trade? About four years. So this is my uncle's shop. I'm the nephew here. You know, the transition was hard because it was always an argument every other day. And it was always him backing it off and thinking that was the way to get a better finish. So Enrique pushes you? Oh yes, Enrique is my nephew and uh, he actually started during high school and during the summer breaks running manual machining just, just like his uncle I guess, uh, breaking tools. Then he discovered uh, Titans of CNC on YouTube and then that just changed our industry, our customer base, our production time has just been amazing. So while I was here running slow, I, our drills were running one inch per minute, inch and a half per minute and I thought that was fast. I came across just searching, how can I go faster? How can I push this drill faster? How can I get our run times down and actually make money? And on YouTube, you'll find anything. I quoted this job to do these 6061T6 parts and I've never ran 6061T6, but there was a core five video on YouTube with the same speeds and feeds and I had enough RPM on the machine to do it. And even though Raul argued me up and down, it was never gonna work, I was gonna break it. Somehow I convinced him to do it. And we ran the same speeds and feeds that Titan ran in the video on the same material grades and it worked. I love the fact that you said, I literally like watched the video, put the core five in, argued with my uncle to yeah. get the core five in, then went same speeds and feeds because it was the same machine and you guys thought it was, wasn't gonna work. The main thing is me and my uncle always clashing. It's not gonna be done. Uh, it's impossible, you're running too fast, you're gonna break the machines. And although I did start on a lot of older machines, that machine is still here, it's still in the back, it's still running, but now running the same machine that Titan has, using the same speeds and feeds, this is insane. I don't like to use the word, I'm running fast, I'm running very efficient, because that's the way we need to run, everybody needs to run to actually make money in this industry. We're at the scale of a bigger machine shop because we run efficient. Because we're running fast enough, we have our fixtures set up with Mighty Bytes that we can run three, six, nine parts at a time. Our cycle time is just slashed in half. Even this part behind me used to take me two hours to run and now I'm down to 30 minutes complete part. Uh, you now, guys get parts done like much quicker now? Oh yeah, we're turning in uh, complete orders on a daily basis now versus us turning in on Fridays. So now our parts are flying out of here and they're all pristine. Our uh, finishes are beautiful. And these machines run like Ferraris, I like to say. These oh, are the man. nicest things you can buy for the price. That's why we actually stand by them because not everybody has to take that leap and pay all that money. Here's a premium machine that's awesome and uh, living proof. Yeah. Love it, man. Hey, show me around, man. All right. What is that, DN Solutions? Yeah, yeah, this is not a Morisiki. <laughs> <laughs> this is the machine that I actually got started on. This is an old 1980s Morisiki MV, MV55 that you have to put your programs through through an old cord and an old computer. And I was running the Core 5 on here. The Core 5 will outlast your machine. This is not the nicest machine. This doesn't have as much RPM. This is a big Cat 50 machine with an RPM limit of 5,000. If you don't have all the RPM to go as fast as you should be going in aluminum, take a bigger step over. Increase yourself to 20, 25% because MRR is what's gonna make us money in this industry. Right here, we're roughing nine inch. 17-4 stainless using the fixate insert. And this insert is not even the stainless grade. Kenna Metal hasn't came out with the stainless grade yet. So this is a, for a steel grade and it's still working. And we're using one corner for the whole part. I didn't know about the fixate until I seen Tyson's video uh, running a thousand SFM, which is insane. If anybody's seen that video and seen that insert just rip through the stainless, uh, so now we're using it to rough uh, the 17.4 parts on both machines. We started using a TNMG because all our CNMGs were breaking. So we're using a TNMG and going straight down and peeling through. 
and then we switched over to a Canon Metal, a big SNMG, and that one was really holding up. But this Fix 8 is still another level. So our run times have started from here, and we'll just keep bringing them down from there. Now we don't have that many arguments just because everything is proven. Uh, sometimes the older generation is real hard to get convinced that you can run this fast. But until you show them and with their own eyes they see it, from there they're convinced. And the sky's the limit now. As these tools get better, which I'm sure they are in the next coming years, and the machines are going to get stronger and coolant's going to be getting better, we're going to run even faster. He's always uh, pushing my limits. and. Uh... But now I, I, I tend to rely on him and, and I trust him because now I see what these tools and this uh, new technology can do and it's just amazing. Uh. <laughs> and I love the younger generation is pushing the older generation into the future. Time is money, right? You got to go after money, it. Yeah. I'm, I'm still considering myself a manual machinist, uh, but it, with the Rike or the new generation coming out, uh, I'm trying to keep up with them. And they, they're just running with it. it it's just it's amazing. So like a, a lesson would be, there's a ton of shops out there just like this. Yeah. Throughout the fabric of this great country and every other country, manufacturing is the foundation and it's so important. Yeah. You know, so many people, they're in the grind and, uh, it's hard to make money. It's hard to make money if you're running slow. Yeah, <laughs> and that's the <laughs> ticket. So that's that's the whole point right there. If you're running like high speed steel, sometimes it's okay, but if you're just running because you just don't have the knowledge, watch the videos, test out the tools. You say Canon Metal literally gives you tools oh, to yeah. try out. You need to talk to your reps. Just that's have awesome. them come in. They'll give you inserts to run and put on your machine and they'll help you and they'll load you up with speeds and feeds straight from Novo and that'll get you a starting point and go from there. That's it. And then then look at your MRR, look at how fast your, your times are, bring the times down and uh, so you can make some money. Then you look at the tool price and you judge it based on your productivity and how much money you're making. And if it makes sense, then just up your game. And uh, right here at MSM, you guys yeah. like upped your game, man. Okay. I love that story. <laughs> Super good. Thank you. Dude, you are a huge inspiration to all the young guys out there. Yeah, argue with your uncles, argue with your dad, argue with everyone. You might fail, you might fail a lot, but you know what? If you keep striving for perfection and getting after it and bringing those times down, you're gonna make money, and then uh, and then it's all gonna calm out and uh, it'll be good at the end. Super good. <laughs> Enrique, Enrique is like a hero over here now. Yeah, I'm just living proof. This is it's possible. Oh. <laughs> I want to put an, an invitation out to the best machinists at Titan CNC. Bo no go. If you get fired or if you don't have a job anymore, please come over here to Houston and we'll hook you up. I've been working at 15 shops and ain't none of them recognize my position yet. I had to ask him for a poster. <laughs> all right, he signed it, so I got it laminated and I have it on the wall. We're all rising. We're all growing together. Rising to greatness. Yeah, we're all pushing this industry. Oh man, and they even got the blaza. They got the blaza. <laughs> but it's gonna have chocolate inside. <laughs> Blazer, you need to hook up Enrique with some chocolates from Switzerland. Oh yeah, like Dude. Hey, Shaney out there, he doesn't have a shirt. Can you send this boy a shirt? He's got the bat instead, so we gotta hook him up with the eagle. Boom.